One of iOS's best features in recent years is the lock screen depth effect, which is where, depending on the wallpaper, the clock will actually get partially obscured by any foreground elements in the wallpaper image. And honestly, it is a seriously sleek look. In fact, we've now seen several Android manufacturers implement this in their own skins like Oxygen OS or Hyper OS. And in a lot of cases, these implementations are even better than the iOS version because they have better animations and more extensive customization options to go with. But what if your OS doesn't have any sort of depth effect? Well, you've come to the right place because there is a way that we can get this to work and it doesn't even require root access. There is just one caveat. If you wanna use this on your lock screen, then you will need a phone that lets you at the very least minimize, if not completely hide the lock screen clock. Now, Samsung phones running One UI 6.1 and older do allow you to completely hide the clock, which is the cleanest way to pull off this effect. However, at the time of making this video, One UI 7 doesn't yet let you hide the clock completely, but it does let you set it to this smaller clock, which you can then make even smaller and move it up or down like so, which will get it out of the way enough to make this effect work. I reckon we'll also see an update soon enough that brings back the ability to completely hide the clock too. So if you're watching this video in the future, keep an eye out for that. Nothing phones also let you minimize the clock size if you're running Nothing OS 3.0 or later. You just need to toggle to expand this widgets area and there you go. Unfortunately, if your OS doesn't let you hide or minimize the lock screen clock, then this effect won't really work for your lock screen, but you could still use it for your home screen if you like. But with that out of the way, let's dive in. Now, there are actually two methods for pulling this off. The first of which is a super easy, but less customizable option. And it's only available for Samsung phones, which is to use an app called Depth Effects Wallpaper. And I say easy because it has its own intelligent masking system built in, meaning you don't have to use any other app to pull the effect off, but the clock styles are fairly limited. It's also quite finicky to make precise tweaks. And again, because it doesn't work for any phone except for Samsung phones for some reason, I'm not gonna showcase it in detail in this video. Now, the second method is much more complex, but it's also universal and infinitely more customizable. So it's therefore my preferred method of choice. And we're actually gonna do this primarily by using two apps, one called Photo Layers and another called KLWP and then a KLWP preset as well. But if you wanna be able to customize your clock even more than what the preset allows for, then you'll also need an app called KWGT as well as whichever KWGT preset that you wanna use and I'll leave all of these assets linked below. Then first things first, we wanna select our wallpaper of choice. So I'm gonna select this one called Wave 98 from my Luminar Walls app. So I'll tap here to download that. Then within the Photo Layers app, we need to tap here where it says load a photo, then select that recently downloaded photo and then tap on done. Now I need to tap on cut. Then what you wanna do is use the various tools down here to remove everything, but just the foreground components that you want your clock to be obscured by. For this example, I'm gonna use the AI auto option. Then I'm gonna tap on repair and increase the repair size to 50 and then draw back in the bottom here so that we're left with just the sky components being removed from the overall image. With that complete, I'll tap on done, then done again, then I'll tap on save, then save again. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the KLWP app. From here, we'll tap on import, then browse to our downloads folder and tap on the recently downloaded KLWP preset file called depth effect. Then we'll tap here. And now we just need to come over to our global section. And at the top here, you'll find two options that we need to use for setting our wallpaper. For this first wallpaper option, we need to select our full screen wallpaper that we just downloaded directly from Luminar Walls. Then for this no BG option, we need to select our foreground element exported from the photo layers app. Now by default, this preset has a very iOS inspired clock loaded in and ready to go, which you could just use as is. And there's also some relevant settings that you can tweak down here if need be as well, including the font and colors for the default clock. But if you wanna get a completely unique looking clock, then there's a method that we can use to do so, which involves the KWGT app. Essentially, we just need to pick a widget from any third-party widget pack that we want to extract the clock from, which for me is going to be this widget called Widget 87 from the MIUI 14 Widgets and Super Icons pack. But to copy it into the KLWP file, we need to convert this widget into what's called a component file. So we'll tap this plus icon here, then tap where it says component, then tap on create. Then I'm gonna select this layer here, then tap to copy it. Then I'll open up the component and then paste it in. 
I'll also need to copy these global settings from the original widget from this globals page here, and then paste them into the global section within the component layer. Then with that done, I can tap this components icon up here, then tap on export. With that exported, I can now come back into the KLWP app and I'll firstly go ahead and delete this default clock layer here. Then I'll tap this plus icon up here, then tap on component. And I should see that custom clock widget that I just exported, which I can then just tap on to import. Then I just need to drag that layer between these two layers like so. And you may need to resize the two image layers as well to make the clock more or less visible, but that's it. Now we just need to save our preset, then we need to tap on set as wallpaper, then set wallpaper, then home screen and lock screen. And with that done, we can come back home and there we go. Our home screen now looks incredible. And because I'm using the Galaxy S24, which is running One UI 6.1 at the time of making this video, I've actually been able to hide my clock completely from the lock screen. And so now it looks amazing. And if you don't wanna see the clock on your home screen, then back within KLWP, we just need to open up our component layer, then swipe over to the layer tab, then tap here where it says always and change this to if locked. When we save that, now our clock widget will only show on our lock screen, but whenever we unlock our phone, it'll disappear completely. And so there you have it. That is how you get iOS's depth effect on any Android phone. And yes, it's not perfect, but hey, at least you have the tools at your disposal now and you can decide how you wanna use them. Aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.